Hi, I'm Joe Tong with InstructionalFitness.com. We're here today at the, what many people refer to as the Mecca of Bodybuilding or Mecca of Fitness Coach Gym in Venice. Today I have Jesse with me, and Jesse's going to be demonstrating the proper way to perform a lot of these exercises and also the incorrect way. So that way you know if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. Pull downs in front work what many people refer to as the lats or latissimum muscle. The main thing with the pull downs is it's going to make you wider, it's going to give you width, okay? So you want to make sure when you're doing this exercise, as Jesse's going to perform now for you, that you always maintain correct form. First thing, don't go too heavy a weight. If you notice, he has a grip wider than shoulder width, okay? His feet are firmly on the ground. He keeps a curve or arch in his lower back. What that does, it puts it all into the lat area, okay? Also with the grip, the way he's taking it now, puts all the work into the lats. If, if you were to grab it too far out, which actually you probably have to use a wider bar than this, it would put it into the biceps more, okay? So again, we're trying to work the lats here to give you more width. So your feet are firmly on the ground, you maintain an arch in the lower back, and as you pull down, he pulls down right about chin level. Another important thing I haven't discussed yet is your hand grip. Okay, with the hand grip, when you get about shoulder width, any narrower than that, it's gonna cause you to start working other muscles. So a good rule of thumb is, you see Jesse, what he does, he measures his thumb right at where the bar curves, okay? then that's where he grabs it. That way, it's slightly wider than shoulder width, it's putting it here. As you notice, Jesse was pulling it down right if you were looking in front to chin level. If you go below that, you're actually gonna involve a lot of the biceps, okay? Which, if you go too far down, you take it right out of the back and into the arms now, okay? Or if you use too heavy a weight, which a lot of people tend to do, you start swinging back, okay? So you have a lot of swinging with the movement. Again, this starts working the spinal rectors, it's working your lower back, it's putting too much pressure on the disc, it's working your shoulders, your biceps, it's doing everything you're not supposed to be doing. So again, pick a weight that you can maintain correct form, that's the most important thing. If you're trying to put on some size, like all the other exercises, you want to go a little bit heavier weight, repetitions 6 to 10. Since it's such a big muscle, you can actually do a little bit more repetitions. So I stay more towards the 10. If you're trying to tone up, 15 to 20. 